Brock Lesnar, the most decorated. Look at him, Tony Rhodes. Rhodes can feel the opening bell, bringing the fight to the beast. This match isn't even underway, and Cody Rhodes has locked himself into the beast, and now using the cowl from our announce table to take out Brock Lesnar. Rhodes knows full well what he's got to do, what it's going to take to topple the beast. The bell has not even rang yet. This match is not official. Steel steps by like Cody to, the, to Lesnar. Again, and now Lesnar's down and back to his feet. And a third time. Cody does not want to experience what Superman did when he met Doomsday. Not tonight. Not in backlash. Now with the steel chairs are loading on Lesnar. This match hasn't even started yet. Cody Rhodes has had this, this pent up frustration for a month. And, and this is brilliant. Again, before the opening bell, this is all legal. There's not going to be a disqualification. Not until the official rings the bell. Now he will. Match is underway. Cody Rhodes goes right after Lesnar. Brock Lesnar has not had an opportunity to get out of the blocks at all here tonight. Oh, uh, now Brock Lesnar, though, gonna drive Cody Rhodes across the ring. Brock doesn't need to be given an opportunity because Lesnar will just take it. Cody with a drop down right hand. Disaster kick! Off the second rope, Lesnar down back to his feet again. Cody gonna go for a second disaster kick. Brock Lesnar down to his knees. The American nightmare for a moment, staring fear in the face! Oh my god! And a suplex! Holy assault by Cody. Oh, and he's oh, no. hanging Brock up on the top rope. Oh, oh, oh. Right hand and a kick. And, and Cody realizing he can offer Brock no quarter. It has been an all-out onslaught for the American Nightmare. Oh, Brock just caught Cody in midair. Full away slam with authority. And that's the problem. Everything Cody's done to Brock... Since this began, Corey, and Brock is still in this fight. And if that doesn't mentally break a man, I don't know what will as we look again at the superhuman power of the beast incarnate. Cody's body racked with pain. Here's Brock. Lesnar smiling. Brock Lesnar just had a smile break out of his face as the Suplex City chance filled this arena. Brock knows he's back in control. Release German suplex number two. Nasty landing for Rhodes on that one. High on his neck and shoulder area. Think about the punishment Brock suffered even before this match began. And now he's right back in control. These two have never had a match. You wonder what gives... Oh my God, the American nightmare. Nightmares, the answer, Brock Lesnar. That was a hat trick of suplexes. Referee Rod Zapata right there checking on Cody. And look at the wounds on Brock's back from the, the onslaught he suffered at the hands of Rose before the opening belt. Yet Lesnar just continues to move forward. And Brock just shaking it off and now a perfect combat machine. Remember, Cody Rhodes suffering a rib injuries in the hands of Lesnar. And Brock realizing that going right back at Cody. Listen, I, I said it from the very beginning. I don't understand why Lesnar turned his back and destroyed Cody Rhodes on Raw, but I don't think this is a wise decision for Cody Rhodes to accept this match, to demand this match, to want to fight Brock Lesnar. I think we may be seeing the American Nightmare unravel before our very eyes. I'm going to release German. Again, I said before, Cody came into this match with ribs that weren't 100%. Targeted by Lesnar the night after WrestleMania, when Brock turned his back. Still don't know why, may never know why. As you mentioned earlier, Corey, Brock does things because he wants to. Oh! Vicious suplex by Lesnar. Number five. We'll make it six. This could go on all night. You add to that tally. It may go on all night. The 
you see these suplexes delivered at this rapid pace by Lesnar brings me back to the dominance that Brock showed. I believe it was back in 2014 in one of the most lopsided matches in the career of the great John Cena. Meanwhile, the Cody just exposed the turnbuckle unintentionally. Well, there goes the pad out into the uh, WWE Universe as the seventh suplex is delivered. And Brock realizing now that the uh, steel turnbuckle is now exposed. This does not bode well for Cody. I didn't think things were going to bode well for Cody when he called Brock a coward. So whatever you got to do to get yourself up for game time, to psych yourself up before a big match. But I think the results are gone. Just another throw. We'll call that eight. And Cody Rhodes is just, he's just been punished, tortured. And Brock's laughing about this. High angle belly to belly suplex. The let's go Cody chance, but maybe for not. I get it. Cody has forged such an ironclad. Remember that right hand Cody Rhodes caught Brock with last Monday night? Yes. I, I think that ticked the beast off. Oh, Cody though! Able to duck underneath the drive Brock into the exposed steel. The exposed steel turnbuckle. Lesnar went in face first, and Lesnar, I believe, is seen as own one. You believe correctly. Cody Rhodes, Cody Cutter. Is it enough? Cody trying to fight back. Somehow willing himself back to his feet. The beast has been wounded. Disaster kick. Lesnar's face is a crimson mess. And now Cody Rhodes targeting the open wound on the face of Lesnar. Trying to hang on. 